Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, I am here with a read aloud for our new movie, Moana. I'm so excited to dig in and read this book to us. Um, however, this one's a little bit different. Uh, this read aloud uh, is going to be focused more on Pua the pig and Hey Hey the chicken. Um, and so I'm excited to learn more about their story and see what um, this is all about. And remember to see the actual storyline of Moana. We do have uh, that movie posted on the, uh, the our Canvas homepage. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So it says, The feast to welcome spring was about to start. Moana and Grandma Tala were busy collecting shells. Moana's pet pig, Pua, tried to help, but the shells he found were never empty. Moana bent down and picked up a small pink one. What do you think she asked? Grandma Tala inspected it. Yes, that looks right for a chief. Moana was making her father a surprise gift for the feast, an inklet. What do you think an inklet is? I'm sure we'll find out. Moana strung the shell onto the anklet and held it up proudly. Done, she said. Now I can give it to him right at the start of the feast. Just then, hey, hey, the foolish village rooster ran by, then, or ran by them wearing part of a coconut on his head. Silly, hey, hey. Removing, or Moana said, removing the coconut. So there's them. You can see Pua the pig color, or looking for shells. And then Hey Hey running into them with a coconut on his head. And that's silly. In the village, preparations for the feast had begun. While everyone was hard at work, Hey Hey just got in the way. Men were busy building the Umu, the underground oven. They piled up pieces of wood and the dried husks and shells of coconuts. After they started the fire, they added rocks. Hey, hey kept getting closer and closer to the hot rocks. You'll set yourself on fire, you silly bird, one of them yelled, chasing him away. And so you can see Hey, hey getting right into the Umu, which is an underground fire. And he's getting yelled at and trying to get shooed away by some of the men um, that are working it. Hey, he ran away and stepped on a partially finished platter woven from pandan leaves, which is a type of tree. His tiny foot got trapped, but he didn't even notice as he dragged the large platter behind him. Grandma Tala attempted to catch him, but Hey Hey avoided her, leaving a mess in his wake. Moana and Grandma Tala stopped when they saw Chief Tui approaching. Grandma Tala immediately stepped on Hey Hey's platter to hold it and the rooster in place. Moana quickly hid the anklet inside her belt, hoping her father wouldn't notice. I just wanted to see how everything was going, Chief Tui said. Meanwhile, Hey Hey was pecking and pulling at Grandma Tala's skirt. So here we go. Here we can see uh, Hey Hey. He got his foot stuck in the basket. He's run, or not the basket, the platter. He's running around, and Grandma Tala is trying to catch him. And then we can see um, the chief coming to talk to Moana and Grandma Tala. And then there's Hey Hey pulling at her skirt. As soon as Chief Tui left, Grandma Tala reached for Hey Hey, but she slipped on the platter. Fortunately, Moana was there to catch her. Nobody noticed when the anklet dropped from Moana's belt. It landed around Hey Hey's neck, and he dashed away. Uh oh, this isn't looking good. That's that is it, Grandma Tala said, grabbing a hand-woven leaf basket. Hey, he didn't see her coming. He was too busy pecking at a rock. In one fell swoop, Grandma Tala trapped Hey Hey underneath the basket. 
and then cinched it shut. That just means she closed the basket shut. Trapping, hey, hey. But Grandma Tala had been so focused on catching the rooster that she hadn't noticed the anklet around his neck. So here we go. We can see Hey Hey running away with the necklace around his neck. And then Grandma Tala trying to catch him. You can't keep him in there forever, Grandma, said Moana. But we can keep him in there for a little while, said Grandma Tala, at least until we're done with the feast. Moana agreed it was a good idea. So Grandma Tala put the basket aside. Then Moana checked her belt. She grasped, or she gasped when she realized that the anklet was missing. Oh no, perhaps we should retrace our steps, said Grandma Tala. Just then, Pua spotted the basket. He saw Hei Hei's beak sticking out between the gaps in the woven leaves. When he looked closer, Pua noticed the anklet around the rooster's neck. He was determined to retrieve it for Moana. Why do you think, um, so Grandma Tala on the last page, she noticed that the anklet was around uh, Hei Hei's neck. But then when Moana says that she has it missing, why do you think Grandma Tala said, perhaps we should retrace our steps instead of saying, oh, it's still on Hey Hey or it's on Hey? Why do you think that is? Maybe we'll find that out. So we can see uh, in these pictures, here's Pua looking at Hey Hey in the basket. But first, Pua had to open the basket. He rolled it over and over, but that didn't work. The basket was just too strong. Then he tossed the coconut high into the air toward the basket, but all that did was knock the basket over. Next, Pua put the basket on top of a stick. Then he backed up and took a running start. Pua jumped onto the stick and the basket went flying through the air. Plop! It fell to the ground, but the basket was still tightly shut. Pua had to think of another idea, and fast. He had to get the ankle or the anklet to Moana in time for the feast. On the ground, he saw a long vine. He picked it up and trotted back to the basket. Pua looped the vine around the basket and dragged it along, running as fast as he could. Hehe's legs slipped out, and he ran to keep up. So we can see all the methods that uh, Pua was trying. You can see him flinging the uh, basket up into the air with a coconut. Then you can see him pulling it with a long vine. And then you can see in the top corner here, hey, hey, uh, his feet stuck out and he's trying to keep up with Pua. When Pua heard music, he knew that the feast was about to begin. He had to do something drastic. He dragged the basket toward a slender tree, a skinny tree, and tossed it onto a branch. Then he jumped up after it. When Pua bounced on the branch, or on the branch, Hei Hei's basket flew into the air and then back down to the branch again. The higher Pua bounced, the higher the basket flew. Finally, Pua bounced so high that the branch flung the basket straight into him. The two animals soared through the air. Pua and Hei Hei squealed and clucked. Which one do you think squealed and which one do you think clucked? Right? We, we probably know that pigs, which is Pua, squeal, and roosters, which is Hei Hei, clucked. So you can see them soaring through the air. Almost done here. When they hit the ground, the basket finally opened. Pua was thrilled. He could get the anklet to Moana. But the force of the fall caused them to roll and roll and roll right into a large fishing, fishing net. Through the feast, or though the feast had started, 
Pua and Hehe rolled right up to Moana. Moana untangled them and gasped when she saw the anklet around Pua's snout. You found it, she said, giving him a big hug. So I'm sure she was really excited to see Pua with the anklet. And in the pictures, we can see them rolling and rolling and rolling, and then they get tangled up in a fishing net, a net that's used to catch fish. And then we can see him rolling all the way to Moana with the anklet around Pua's snout. Last page here. Later that evening, Moana gave Chief Tui the anklet, and he proudly put it on. I love it, he said, as Moana and her father hugged. Pua heard a strange sound. It was Hei Hei. The rooster couldn't cluck because his beak was buried in a piece of driftwood. Oh boy. He'd also gotten tangled up in pieces off the basket, uh, of the basket again. Fortunately, Pua had become an expert at getting Hei Hei out of tricky situations. Nice. So if Pua had become an expert at getting Hei Hei out of tricky situations, we can probably think that he helped Hey Hey get the driftwood out of his beak. Um, then the two questions that I had asked before, um, when Grandma Tala was, uh, she didn't tell Moana about the necklace right away, or the anklet right away, it was probably because she knew about it and she didn't want to hurt Moana's feelings at that time. She was probably going to get it from Hey Hey at a different time. And then finally, with the anklet, when we asked what that was, we can see the anklet in this picture, and we can come to the conclusion that an anklet is like a bracelet that goes around an ankle. And we can see that here. Oops, here. So, all right, we want to thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this book, um, and we hope that you have a great day.